you've been doing it all wrong. Every single time you generate a character and try to make them look the same in another image, you're rolling the dice. Slightly different nose, weirdly shaped eyes, wrong expressions, sound familiar? Yeah. That struggle ends today. This AI tool is on another level. It doesn't just create characters, it remembers them. Every pose, every detail, every expression stays exactly as it should, no matter how many images you generate. If you've ever wanted to create AI influencers, Instagram models, or animated characters that actually stay consistent, this is it. No more frustration, no more trial and error, just pure effortless precision. And the best part, you don't need 25 reference images or complicated training. Just a few clicks, a solid prompt, and boom, you've got a fully consistent AI character, ready for any scenario. So, once you click the link in the description, you'll land on this interface. Now, uh, right away you'll notice something interesting. This tool actually has a brand new feature designed specifically for character consistency. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see some other tools here, image to image, text to image, the consistent character tool, which is what we're using, image to video, and face swap. And, uh yeah, if you're new to all this, there's also a tutorial section right here, to help you out. Okay, so this tool, it's called Design AI, and honestly it's packed with features. You've got different AI models to choose from, like Flux 1.0, and Design Realistic, depending on the style you're going for. Now, let's get started. You can either start from an image, or create a new project. I'll go ahead and create a new project. Now, real quick, this method works for AI influencers, Instagram models, whatever. But for this example, I'm going to use animated characters. The process is exactly the same, so no worries. Alright, first thing, we need to pick the right aspect ratio. I'll go with this one, and click apply. Now, here's the important part. To create a consistent character, most tools require a ton of images. But Design AI has something called Character Sheet. And this is what makes everything so much easier. Before we get to that though, let's generate some images first. So I'm going to click on this section right here, it says character, and then select consistent character. Now, at this point, the tool asks you to upload an image, but since we don't have a full set of images yet, we need to generate a character sheet first. So I'll click on character sheet, and now we get to pick a model. There are a few different models available, like Flux 1.0, but since we're working with an animated character, I'll go with Joyful 3D Model. It just fits better for this style. And hey, if you're not sure how to write a good prompt for this, don't worry. You can just comment free prompts below, and I'll send over some solid ones. Or, you can also use ChatGPT for this. Just type something like, write a prompt for a girl wearing a white dress. Include distinctive features, like shoes, clothing details, and accessories. ChatGPT will generate a really detailed prompt for you. So once you have that, just copy it, head back to the tool, paste it in. So, I prefer using a 16-9 aspect ratio, because, well, it gives you more space to display multiple views of your character. It just makes everything look better, and more organized. Alright, now that we've generated the character sheet, the results will show up in the results panel, you can see them appearing right here. If we hover over the images, we get a preview of the different views. And this is actually really useful, because it helps you isolate different angles of your character. That way, when we train the model, it's way more effective. Now, I found this particular character super cute, and I think it's perfect for the story I'm working on today. So, let's go ahead and select it. I picked this one specifically because, well, first it's wide, so it has more details. And second, it's just easier to maintain consistency with something like this. But here's the thing. Sometimes, the AI-generated character isn't exactly how we want it to be. That's where the AI editor comes in. So, let's click on AI editor, and yeah, here we go. Now, with the AI editor, you've got a few different options. You can edit specific parts of the image. Insert objects, using a reference image. Erase objects if there's something you don't want. For example, if I want to add an accessory, let's say a hat, I can use the insert object feature. To do that, I'll use the lasso tool, and just draw around the area where I want to make a change. Then, I'll enter a prompt for what I want to add, and the AI will handle the rest. You can also edit locally, meaning you can tweak just a small part of the image, without changing the whole thing. That's really useful, for fine-tuning details. 
Alright, so I've generated some options, and the AI gave us a few different results here. I think I like this one the most, so I'll double tap to place it on the canvas, and yeah, it did an excellent job. This tool has so many features, honestly, if I went through all of them, this video would be like an hour long. But, let's keep moving. Once that's done, click on character, then go to consistent character, and select choose character. Now, here you'll see different presets. These are basically how the models were trained. You can choose any preset you like, but we're going to upload our own character instead. So, go ahead and upload your character images. After uploading, we need to give her a name. I'll call her Lina for this example. Now, select the aspect ratio, I'll stick with 16.9 again. Once that's set, click train. And the process will start. Okay, now that the AI has finished, you can see how it analyzes the character, breaking down the face details, features and description. Over here, we have the prompt section, where we can make sure our character stays consistent. Alright, let's put her in a different scene, maybe sleeping in a room, or standing at a festival. Remember, this also works for AI influencers. If you need a more detailed guide, feel free to DM me on Discord. So now, let's enter our prompt, and click Generate. And there we go, you can see that the face is exactly the same, but now she's in a completely different environment. This tool is seriously amazing for keeping characters consistent across different settings. Now, let's try another one. Let's place her sitting in a park. Click Generate. And yep, 100% consistency. The face looks exactly the same, and it blends in perfectly with the new background. This is one of the best tools out there for maintaining image consistency, whether you're working on character designs, or even AI influencers. Oh, and before we wrap up, there's one more feature to check out, AI videos. Click here, and you'll see it supports various tools for generating videos. There are options for image to video and other video tools. It even supports Clang 1.6, comma Minimax, and other models. These actually run faster here than on their original platforms, which is super helpful. So yeah, this tool is really powerful for preventing consistency issues and making sure your characters stay the same across different settings. Let's test the insert character feature. First, we need an image to work with, so we'll click on consistent character and select the model we've already trained, Lana. Now, I'll type the prompt, Lana playing in a park with a young boy. I'll click on generate, the AI generates an image while maintaining Lana's consistency. Now. We'll use the insert character feature. If we want to make small adjustments, we can click on variation to slightly change the image. Once satisfied, we select the final version and click on insert character. The image is then placed on the canvas. One of the key features here is the lasso tool which allows us to modify specific parts of the image. I'll use it to draw over the young boy next to Lana. After carefully outlining him, we click on Choose Character and select a pre-existing AI-generated boy model. Now, we need to refine the prompt by adding an action and scene description. I'll update it to a lively young boy playing in the park with Lana. Once that's done, we generate the final image. As you can see, the AI perfectly swaps and integrates the character while maintaining consistency with our trained model. This tool is powerful for keeping character consistency, even when working with multiple models. If this video was helpful, remember to like share and subscribe for more AI content like this.